Hello everyone. Today we'll be going over driving and turning for Vexcode VR. There are a total of 11 drivetrain blocks in Vexcode VR. And today we'll be specifically going over driving and turning. So these are some of the most basic and easiest controls and are the first thing that you learn. They are mostly used inside control blocks, but we're not going over that. A drivetrain allows a robot to be controlled by wheels, tank treads, or other methods. Drive trains are also called drive bases. Knowing what kind of drive train to use is one thing to take into consideration. There are two drive forward blocks, drive forward and drive forward for X. Right here and right here. Let's not put those together. Using drive forward for X, is usually better because you can make the movement more precise and you can get the measurement you want instead of this is just like you have to tell it to stop and that's just more work that you don't want to do. If you put a negative number in here, so let's say I put a negative 200, the robot will the robot will move backwards or if I put this as 200, the robot and I put drive reverse, it'll also move backwards. You can also set how fast you want the robot to go with the set drive velocity block right here. You set it to like thousand percent. It'll go like it'll go super fast. But if you set it to like ten percent, it won't go as fast as it normally does. Different turn commands include turn right right here. Turn left, which is a variation of turn right. Turn right for x degrees. And turn left for x degrees, which is a variation of turn left, right. Turn heading to 90 degrees. And turn rotation to 90 degrees, or x. I prefer using the turn right for x degrees or turn left for x degrees because it's just same thing with uh, the drive forward for x millimeters. It's just more precise than what this what you're going to get for this. Heading is okay to use, but I feel like this is just easier for me to grasp the grasp the concept of. But you could just what use whatever you like the most because it really doesn't matter in the in the long run because these are the same thing. For your practice program, I would like you to drive around the whole grid map once while using heading twice and turning right for X twice. Be sure to record your calculations. So you have to see how big the grid map is and you have to figure out. So the grid map is 1800 millimeters. So you'd put like 1800 millimeters and turn heading to 90 and that would make it turn right for 90 degrees and then another example would be turn right for 90 degrees would be the same as turn heading 90 degrees at that at that spot so just record your calculations and you should be good to go on this one this is a pretty easy first practice program for you